little bit this week about the fact that even though you grew up during the Depression and were really, really poor in some respects, you didn't really feel that way. So I'd just like to hear a little bit more about that. I mean, your, your memories of Depression are... Well, the thing about it, you weren't out from other people. Yeah, you were, you were poor the same. because You're everybody right, was poor. Yeah, that's a very good But you point. know, that's another thing about mom and dad. We never heard, ever, ever no. heard a word about being poor. Isn't it? Yeah, I know. I mean... Uh, at least I never did. No, I never did. Uh, yeah, they... Yeah, I don't think we thought of ourselves. Well, right, exactly. Well, I, I didn't think I was poor. I didn't know no, I was poor. No, I know. Before. I didn't even think... I never thought of anyone until... I remember when we went to one of the Meyer reunions and somebody said that when your radio broke, you didn't get to replace yeah, it. Yeah, well, I remember <laughs> one year that the radio broke and we simply didn't get it repaired. So that's the first time I realized, oh, I guess that you all didn't have a lot of I, money. I, I, I <laughs> didn't... Always, I didn't realize that. I guess I didn't miss it because we had we always played a lot of games and had right. a great time. But I really loved things like the Lux Radio Theater mm -hmm. and, because you know it, it, to me it was more. I could visualize it better than I could visualize things on, on TV. television. Yeah, it was really busy. It was really better on radio because you could conjure up your own picture of what these people were like. Exactly. You know? But a couple of memories of of, the, of those times was a. The grasshoppers were so sick that sometimes they were too deep on a shady oh. side of a pole and they eat up your well, they hand, handle of your pitchfork and they were flying over like billions of airplanes. No. Really? And, and you did This was like every summer during the, I mean, or oh, just, just during the... What are the three, maybe yeah, four three, years it was like yeah. that. And then two of the dust storms would come up in the blanket and they'd come up like dust would start rolling from the ground up about as high as you could see when they came in, and then every you could, and there, you, there was no way you could keep the dust out of the house. March mother tried very hard. She wet uh, uh, towels and put it along, you know, on the bottom of the window and the, where the, the the middle the two parts met, but it still came in. And those dust, I could still visualize those dust storms when they came in. Me too, I, I could do something, I, I just see them rolling in. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the one that was the worst, I remember, tipped over our outhouse. I don't remember that. Yep. I'm trying to think, when the, when the bathroom was installed, I'm trying to think back to the farmhouse, was it must have been on the first floor? It was, it was off the kitchen. Off the kitchen, okay. When, when we were growing up, it was the... Uh, washroom. Washroom. Mm -hmm. And would you all go to Sunday school on Sundays? We didn't go to Sunday school. I didn't. I did. did you? I think I, I can't when, remember that we did. I think when Norm and I were mom, I thought of Graham, we went to mom, we went to church pretty... and were in church all the time. I well, remember. that's what I mean, church. Okay, so okay. I remember when I was baptized. You know, I was about six foot. You one already and, got. You were baptized. And the uh, minister was five foot six. Or something. I still see it because I got such a kick out of it. So. Well, how old? You when you were I was about 15, I guess. Well, they, 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 we may have been baptized younger, too, I don't know, but, but they did it when we joined the church. Mm -hmm. He was 15, I was 13, and, and I remember they baptized him first, and Norman and Patrick had to get on his knees. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't gotten my height yet, so I was still only six you foot two, I mean, five foot four or something. You ask about teachers, and I one I had the most respect for, and I guess you'd call it, was the coach we had. Oh, uh-huh, yeah, so you had a good coach. Well, in grade school, my favorite was, like I say, Dorothy mm -hmm. Atkinson. She was a really good teacher. And I love. I really liked the fact we were in the grade school, in the country school, because there were certain things that I really liked, like history and geography. So wait, 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 so wait, let me get this straight. So your one-room schoolhouse was considered a country school. Oh yeah. And then you went to Benilla. <laughs> we were to a, we went to a, that was a city school. <laughs> well, don't laugh at us. I mean, we're serious. I, know, I love it. I love it. Vanilla <laughs> doesn't you, even exist anymore. <laughs> you would you'd be surprised how, how much. It, yeah, how much it. Yeah. I mean, when you when you went to Benilla to the high school, it made a lot. But that was quite a big move after that country school. You were, you were. <laughs> okay, so, but, so tell me about the transition from the country school to well, the I city think school. I was going to say, <laughs> when you got done with your, with your uh, schoolwork, I mean, you, they, you recited and then, and then you sat down, did your schoolwork, and, and you learned from the older kids reciting too. You picked up on stuff from that. And then if you wanted to know more, we, all of our 
our encyclopedias, atlases, and other books were right on the shelf, right in the room. So you, you didn't have to ask anybody to go get a book, you just go get a book. Well, yeah, I remember at one of the reunions talking to Julie, because didn't Julie once teach at a one-room schoolhouse or something? Or just, it was just fascinating to me how a teacher would teach in a one-room schoolhouse where she would have basically well, kindergarten she, through eighth yeah, grade, well, right? When or, she was in Keystone, she taught, I think, four grades. Four grades, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Out in the hills, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But so how did that work? I mean... You were all sort of helping each other then, like if I like when I was in the, when I was in the first grade, uh, Harlan's grade would also help us. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, it was a real. I always thought it was a real. A lot of thinking back on it, that it was a really great way to learn because yeah. you know if you were interested, you could watch all the grades ahead of you do whatever yeah. they were doing. And you normally did a lot of that because you re the grades ahead would recite and have their lessons and stuff. Okay, so then, so what happened when you all went to uh, the city school? <laughs> well, my Harlan went first, of course. Well, I don't know how I went, but to go with all those smart town folks was really <laughs> But anyway, and, and, interestingly, interesting enough, most every class, uh, Val Victorian or Slutzorian, was from a country, was from a country school. Yeah, well, weren't they all liars? Okay, let's talk so about, let's, let's go, let's go okay, once again, talk about who was Salutatorian, who was valedictorian. Norm, Harlan was third in his class, I was second in my class, and Norman was first. But yeah. Harlan, you were third in your class because you didn't want to be well, first, he right? Claimed, he claimed that, but he, was, he tried didn't, real hard. But this didn't good. really make much difference. I didn't really, see, I, uh, well, I, I never ever took a book home from high school, and Lorna took one home all the time. <laughs> but I never did do any studying at home. No, because I didn't, I didn't have time, you know. And I had to either but when I wasn't when I wasn't doing work, I was playing. Yeah, you, you, well, you had to practice all your sports. And when Norman and I, we were in school during the war. Yeah. And and uh, so they arranged it so like if you were going to do going to have a, cl a class in whatever, history. It was a, you, it, the class actually went on for the first half hour. Then the last no, half hour, no, no, no. you did whatever work in preparation for the next day. You didn't have homework. You didn't have homework. We well, never, I, I, I don't think I we think ever that's had great. I think that's great. Homework is highly overrated. <laughs> well, actually, I liken our, our country grade school like being homeschooled. Yeah, because yeah, that's you did not have that right. many, and they could pay right. close attention. And, and of course, Lorna was—I mean, she didn't just take it home because she had to take it home to learn. She really liked it. She wanted to take it home and learn some more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was really. She was when was, I was. How about Leora? Was she that way too, or was it mainly Lorna? Who, you, I don't know. Nor Harlan was in. I, yeah. see, Har I wasn't in school. Yeah, with I, I don't really remember. She was ahead of me, and I don't remember. Right. Her. Yeah. Yeah. She was a real good student. She went on to teach. Okay, so you were third in your <coughs> class. You were second in and, your. And uh, Norman was. And all the girls, at least the first three, were all the Right. Carolyn was. I don't think Carolyn was. So you country folks came in and to the city school, and became. You have to understand that both of our parents, back when people didn't do that, both of them went on to uh, what did they call it? Uh, see, every little town didn't have a high school back then. Right. Yeah. And so they had, uh, they went somewhere where there was a college, usually. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they had, uh, I don't know what the name is, what's the matter with me? Academy? Academy, yeah. And they got a, what was equivalent of high school at the academy. Uh, Dad's was in, in Brookings and in Huron. And Mother's was in, I, I don't know if she went one or two years in Redfield. Yeah. But we always got a kick out of the pictures because there was a picture of their basketball team, girls' basketball team, and there was Mother wearing a black outfit with black bloomers <laughs> playing basketball. <laughs> but, wow, I'd love but, to see that picture. Uh, but another thing about the mom and dad were that they both saw the importance of getting an education. Yeah, so all and of When you, you think about mm -hmm. this whole family going to, to college. Every single one of them. I mean, college. I don't think there's another farm country, a bunch of farm kids in the country that all went, at that time, that all went to college that I know about. I think Camden was the first 
kid from Manila that went to college, didn't he? Wasn't he? Or wow. He's the first one that graduated. I was the first one who went to the School of Mines. Wow. In and I don't think, it, uh, was there any others that went down to university? In I, well, you know, uh, I think before Holland's Day, the, the fact that nobody went to college. No. Of course, Camden and the main course, they, I always maintain they sort of set the, the, they set thing, the bar. Because they yeah. started and that was the thing to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, well, that's pretty impressive. I mean, you know, I I always thought that was terrific. You had to go to school because that's where the action was. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't all work. It was some fun too. There were girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we have a wrap here. This was yeah, fantastic. that was fun. We Thank didn't even you. ask you about your first girlfriends. Mm, all right, one last I question. I really one. didn't concentrate much on having <laughs> girlfriends. I mean, I had friends that were girls, and, and, and you know, and uh, when we went to uh, up to a function, you might take a girl out for a, a coke or something, but it really wasn't a date, was it? Maybe Norma did. I don't know. My mother used to get well, after us for not spending All right, spending let's talk about that. You would go out. What would going out mean? Well, they had things. They had things going on up at our our uh, little village in, in Vanilla. Yeah, Vanilla. Did you have a drugstore? No. My goodness, we had about. I thought it was unreal. We had about twelve businesses when I was little in a little old town of one hundred and five people. That is a lot, but no drugstore. So there were two grocery stores. <clears throat> well, actually, well, the, the one one, was, uh, one restaurant. What was the restaurant? Well, Winnegar's. Winnegar's, yeah. And they got two, what, one, two, one, one gas station, one blacksmith shop. Yeah. Um, and we had two elevators. Had town hall and two elevators. Okay, so I'm not picturing where you would go out then. <laughs> <laughs> to the elevator. To the elevator. To the well, blacksmith. <laughs> we, we, were, we were lucky enough to be the cold and water stop on the Milwaukee Railroad. Because <laughs> so that's, that? that's what the village oh, coal was and water. even okay. there. They had to have back then. They had to have coal and water, so there was at our, that was at our little village. And, and uh, anyway, my my one of, another one I could consider my best friend would be Lyle McKeithen and his dad. And what dad and mother had the general store. Okay. And yeah. They had not a Norman's account. They had groceries, but they also had other things that you needed, like like hats and maybe some clothes and stuff like that. And. Uh, yeah, I can go down the street and visualize it. There was a barber shop who barber really shop. couldn't cut hair very good, but and there was a creamery, wasn't it, or yeah, Larry, part of something else? Larry's uh, dad. Dad. So I guess there wasn't a movie, right? Did you there ever was, see movies? There was movies? a lumber yard. Yeah, the movies were in the town hall. And they oh were free. wow! Well, wow. I didn't know they were. I didn't. Know I didn't they pay. Were free. I didn't pay. The first, the first movie I saw was Rin Tin Tin. Oh. And the film broke a couple times, but it, it was free. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a lumber yard. Yeah, that's yeah. hard to believe. That was on the corner there, right off the hi highway. And then my and friend Larry's, his dad had a had beer. a had a pill, uh, pool hall, and that's where you could get a beer and play pool. There was a pool hall in yeah. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that could have been the, the really spot. Well, mm -hmm. I don't think I ever went in it much for uh, for you know uh, mm -hmm. it wasn't where we went. We I don't recall there. anything about the pool hall. Well, I, went, I knew about it because Larry's dad had it, and I, and I went in with him, but that's uh, it. Yeah. But you're talking about first girlfriends. I never really thought, I had a lot of girlfriends, but I right. didn't know. You right. were friends of girls. Right. Right. I had right. friends of girls, and that's the, yeah. way, that's the way it was. We, yeah. Well, because you've known them all your lives, probably, I mean, right? One so, thing so. Always, there was one girl in my class that Mom said to me one day, if you ever get married, I want you to find a girl like Laverne. And I thought about the least of Laverne. <laughs> <laughs> He, he went, he, as I re I watched all the activities of the order. And his, the only one I remember him being with very much was Lorraine, her cousin. Yeah, she was, we, we had a lot more fun. She was a lot more fun, and that's what we did. Well, that's why you were with them. <laughs> well, usually we were, it wasn't just Lorraine and I, it was usually a couple other guys, people, yeah. you know. Yeah, right. I, I actually, I actually, my, I actually had my first, uh, 
in fascination of a girl when I was six and she was five. <laughs> My first grade teacher brought her niece, Darlene Christensen Olson, and she was she was really cute. And she, and she, and she was. There's yeah, no she was cute. Oh, you I, remember her too? Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, and she was great. But, uh, uh, so, but I still remember when she brought her. Man. Okay, so just cute. one other thing, one thing about it. So you still you still go to Vanilla Reunions? Do you go to Vanilla Reunions? He has. Uh, you went to the last one. He's the elder statesman of the reunion. Yeah, he gets to You're sit. You're the elder statesman. Well, he has So who been, else is showing up at these reunions? Well, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. He. <laughs> the, school, the school closed in 1962. I know. Well, I yeah. I went to one reunion. I mean, it was no, it wasn't a Vanilla High School, but it was like wasn't it the fiftieth. Well, what what did I go to, Dad? What was that? Well, you might have been there for the centennial. The for centennial the, for, for the, the city, city. For the city, yeah. yeah. That was a, quite a happening. That, that was, was really quite neat. a happening. That was really. The, that was like had, less picture show, basically. Oh, that's, they that had the, cool. They had the train come, you know, the wagon train come to town. And so, wasn't that the time, or was that later when? Yeah, when, when it might have been I, when I South was Dakota was a hundred. Was. See, we were 183, and and uh, and. The state became 189. I think, I think it was eight. So it wasn't the wagon train. There's a lot of stuff going on. It was, you know. But anyway. So like the last vanilla reunion you went to, how many people were there? A good number. I don't know. People showed showed up because there was a good. People had a good, a good percentage showed. I had a couple younger, friends never showed. The youngest people would be Craig. Okay, Craig didn't so graduate there. Larry did. Larry was the Larry last graduate okay. in class. It was in 1964, and and uh, Craig went on to the, the road that to Larry that was about what eight nine miles away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, I I think I'm the only one left in my class of 14. Well, mm -hmm. you don't know for sure about Joyce. Uh, Joyce Hamilton. She was in a nursing home in Boyd out in uh, Montana. Montana. Yeah. Well, I think I remember. This was my first trip out to South Dakota, and um, Scotty, uh, their eldest brother, Cam, lived out in Idaho, and he had, I just remember little Chris, who was about, I don't know how old she was, would have been then, she came, we were all sitting around in the farmhouse, and they drove in, and she came stomping in, because Cam was very interested in genealogy. And she said, if I ever come here again, and if I have to go to one other cemetery, I'm never coming again. Because they had to stop at every cemetery. Every cemetery. cemetery. He, never, every he never passed at the cemetery, or a church, or a county seat. Well, I think I Then we got the encyclopedias that were at the school before. What? You mean your family got the? Yeah, we, wow. anyway, they, they were at That's home. Nice. So that was another thing, You when we were, you know, at home, when it was, arguing about something like we did fairly often, and then we could go check it go out. Go check it out. Well, I think, I know where Dad got that habit then. <laughs> <laughs> you should have, of course you should have seen how the schoolhouse was heated, you know, we had a... How was it heated? Coal stove in the middle of the, and all in the corner of the... School. It was in the back, southwest back, corner. Southwest corner of the school. And it had a, had a tin, uh, a metal, it was light metal in it, around it. You know. I don't remember of ever being cold. cold right? I don't either. Yeah, the only time we were cold is uh, a really sort of sad situation. Uh, it was when Lorna uh, was in school. She was a senior. When did they skip her ahead? She got skipped ahead in school. Mm -hmm. the third and fourth grade, I think. Second Why fourth, did Lorna get skipped ahead and nobody else? <laughs> well, thankfully, they did skip us any of the boys like Norman could have been skipped just as well but it was a good thing he didn't mm -hmm. I sort of was sort of sad that Lorna did because mm -hmm. uh, most of her friends were her age yeah, and they that's were in hard. another yeah. class right and, uh, no uh, I, my youngest daughter skipped Jill skipped mm -hmm. grade and, uh, and I don't know how many times she told me since that she wished it never happened yeah I don't think, I think it should ever happen I don't care how I bright agree, yeah. mm -hmm. well another another thing with all the books in the you, if you wanted to learn more, the opportunity was there to learn more. Yeah, right. And, no, I... Well, like Leora, she was a good athlete, Leora. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh... She played basketball. Yeah, she was one of the best 
basketball, but girl basketball players in the county. But and she was must have been about five foot eight or something because Life. she actually grew after she went to college. Actually, grew another inch or two. Wow, well, that's unusual. I think she was five foot ten when she finished up growing. Yeah, or five eleven. She's almost tall as I am. I, see, you, I'm the only one of the boys that won Camden. We were both the same age, the same height, both five foot eleven. Yeah. You two guys. Well, Norman was the tallest. He, he was right at an inch six taller seven. than I. He was like six feet one and a half, and I was six feet and a half. I don't know. What, uh, of course, with, this was barefoot. I mean, a lot of well, athletes. Right, right. I think they measure them with their shoes on now, but. Uh, but anyway, you know, particularly the basketball players, <laughs> they, yeah. they seem to vary between six foot one and six foot four. Would you, would you believe well, it? I was, high school. I was the tallest one on our basketball team. You were? Well, you know. And now I, I could, they wouldn't even let me on the court because I'm not tall <laughs> enough to play. Yeah, if you're not six foot one, you're very oh, unusual. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Playing. But I grew up. I grew up playing basketball real early, and, and uh, did you guys have a basketball hoop at the farm? Yeah, yeah. Our best one was in the vacant barn across the road. Dad, mm. Dad built backboards, and uh, and the uh, rims out of buggy rims. And man, they were really something. And uh, when Norman and I were young, we a lot of kids came there mm -hmm. to play it there in the summertime. Yeah, we particularly had, the Bales boys. Well, they they yes. were playing there with me. Not just a different boy, but yeah. the same bale. Now, do the bales come back to the reunions? There's only one left. Only one the left. One that's, wow. The one that wow. I, that's one year younger than I, and he was a very good athlete, both basketball and that's softball and baseball. But not all the bales boys were good. Like when you were in school, they weren't that. Well, that ours, that no, they weren't. No, that's they didn't. They didn't make they the first the team. team. <laughs> so to speak. Well, of course, in softball they did. And yeah, it's sort of hard not to make the first team if there's 12 <laughs> boys in high school. <laughs> yeah, I really liked it when I was a sophomore because I got to play all the time on the on the B squad and half the time on the A squad. <laughs> I got to play a lot of basketball. <laughs> I didn't know we had Bs. I don't know. <laughs> did. I don't know I was going to say B no, squad. We had, we, we had actually enough kids in school, so we had two teams. B team oh and the B team. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's, that's what we had. Best. And yeah. I remember, when, like, I think it was a sophomore, Larry Ratby, my good friend, had actually played on the A squad when he was in eighth grade. Because <laughs> he, he was a year, he'd missed a grade in, in grade school and the teacher didn't pay attention to him, didn't teach anything down the middle seat. Because he wasn't that slow. Anyway, and so he was a step ahead, which made quite a difference. And But he acted up one time and and our coach just let him play on the B squad. <laughs> that was the best, one of our best players. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. I think yeah, we have a wrap. That was, that was, that was, that was really a lot of work, I know.